Hey guys, I'm Rich from Neowin, and today we're unboxing the Huawei MateBook D. You asked, we delivered. Um, so, I Huawei first entered the Windows 10 market with the MateBook, and that was a it was a tablet with a folio keyboard, and it had a Y series processor. It was okay. The next year they came back, they made three. They made that tablet again, They, but that was called the MateBook E, and then they also had the MateBook D and the MateBook X. The MateBook X is the flagship. That's a 13-inch Ultrabook. It's got the Dolby Atmos, super thin, super light, awesome. They came back later with the MateBook X Pro, and that's a little bigger. It's got a 14-inch display, st still super thin, still super light, has dedicated graphics. So the MateBook D is the one that Huawei doesn't talk about as much. This is the mid-range, and I think it's... Uh, a lot more exciting than anybody lets on because this thing comes out um, at $629. They sell it at Walmart, which is, uh, by the way, really cool because I've seen a lot of the PCs at Walmart and they're crap. So I'm really excited to see, see this being sold there. And they announced this thing. They said, we're not doing review units right now. And I said, okay. And then people started requesting it. People wanted to see this. They want to see the AMD Ryzen processor you know, Vega graphics. And I really, I just think this is going to be a lot better than it lets on. $629 is a great price for what this thing offers. It's got the the AMD Ryzen 5 2500U processor. It's got uh, Radeon Vega 8 graphics. And it's got 8 gigs of RAM, 2, 256 gigabyte SSD. And I think it's going to be pretty cool. So let's, let's open it up. All right. Ooh, comes in a very nice packaging here. And by the way, it also has that Dolby Atmos sound that the MateBook X has. And really, I mean, I think this is going to offer more than most devices at this price point. It's a clamshell laptop. Okay. And we could take a look. Well, let's take a look at what else is in the box before we get this open because I'm going to be into this thing when we open it. We have a USB Type-C to Type-C cable. Power adapter, all right. USB Type C power adapter. Now, um, Huawei's power adapters are um, adaptable. I'll say, you can use it to charge your phone. You could use it to. You should be able to use it to charge anything within that um, power supply limit. All right. So let's get this thing open now. So let's turn it around. It's got a 14-inch display, just like um, the MateBook X Pro, and Here's the power button. There should be a fingerprint reader in the power button. And there's no actual power in the PC itself. So we're going to have to charge this up. All right, while we give this guy a little bit of juice, let's take a look. Uh, we have our speakers on the sides of the keyboard. Those are Dolby Atmos speakers. So the sound from this thing should be great. If you're listening to music while you work, watching some movies on the 1080p display, should be pretty good. All right, we have a USB type a port and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the right that's usb 3.0 by the way um or i think it is because one of them is usb 3.0 one of them is usb 2.0 and upon further inspection there is nothing to indicate which one is which uh, we also have usb and we have a usb type c port although the spec sheet does not say what kind of usb type c is i'm guessing it's it's 3.1 gen 1 as as most of them are all right, so let's try booting this up now. It's been powering on for a minute or so. And here we go. So it weighs in at about three and a half pounds. It's just over half an inch thick at 0 0.62 inches, which frankly isn't that much thicker than an Android Wear smartwatch. So this thing is super thin. It's light. Um, it's comfortable to carry around. Again, I want to call out the price point because that's where it's really at here. $629, you get a thin and light PC, all aluminum, Dolby Atmos, 1080p display, 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage, and um, it really has you know everything that you're going to want at that price point and a lot more. Okay, so that power button does not seem to be a fingerprint reader because it says Windows Hello is not available on this device in settings. Um, everything is scaled up a little big for my taste, so I'm going to just bring that down a little bit. Let's go in here. I'll bring it down to 100, which is, yeah, that's about where I like it. You can see it does kind of run uh, older software on here. It has 
the old the older uh, Windows Store logo before it was the Microsoft Store. So those will all update in the background and stuff, and it'll download Windows updates and such. Okay, and we can take a look at what exactly is on here. I'm guessing Windows 10 Home, so we'll go back into settings, go to about, and we can take a look at the hardware. That's AMD Ryzen 5 with Radeon Vega mobile graphics, and um, so that's going to be... I'm pretty pumped for that. I've actually never reviewed a Ryzen laptop before, or any Ryzen PC for that matter. So that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, Windows 10 Home, as you can see, ships with 1709. So obviously it's going to have to... Um, I'm going to let it automatically install 1803 rather than pushing 1809 on it, because 1809 does have its issues right now. But um, yeah, so ships with Windows 10 Home... That's okay, especially again the price point. I'm I prefer Pro. I well I, I put this on Microsoft. I think Microsoft should really just have one version of Windows. But at the price point, Windows 10 Home is perfect. Okay, um, AMD Radeon settings. Really, the bloatware that we're going to see on here is all from Microsoft. Candy Crush Saga, Candy Crush Soda Saga, um, Hidden City, all that stuff. Minecraft, uh, Dolby Atmos and stuff. That all has to do with the hardware. So. That's fair enough. All this stuff. I, I clear out my start menu. I don't keep anything on here. And then of course we have the there should be a Huawei app here. Yeah, PC manager, and that's where you'll get driver updates and such. And um, other than that, it is a signature PC. So cool thing about signature PCs is that they don't have bloatware. Again, just the bloatware that Microsoft uh, doesn't include on its own because it does include plenty. Um, you don't see McAfee there, which is great. McAfee is a terrible app. Um, I, I actually, I don't use any antivirus software at all because, you know, I, I can just blow away my PC if anything happens to it and I can just restore it, but Windows Defender works pretty well. All right. And yeah, signature PC. So the thing about signature PCs is they become a lot more popular in recent years and you used to have to buy a PC from the Microsoft store to get it like that. It used to be if you bought if you bought the same PC from Best Buy and the same PC from the Microsoft store, you'd get all this bloatware on the Best Buy one. And it's gotten a lot better. But this is coming from Walmart, so this is pretty cool. And at that price point, it's cool that you're not getting any bloatware. You're getting that real Windows experience. So, again, a little disappointed that this is not a fingerprint reader because... Uh, Huawei makes phenomenal fingerprint readers. And I first discovered this on phones where it's so fast that I would actually go and try other fingers to make sure that it's actually checking my fingerprint at all because I didn't believe it. And the MateBook X actually has a feature where if you press the power button to power on the PC, it's scanning your fingerprint when it's powering on the PC. So once it loads the lock screen, you don't have to scan your fingerprint again. It just logs you in. So a little disappointed that that's not there, but hey, we can type a pin. We only log on once per usage session, so I think we'll be all right. And um, trackpad feels nice, clickable, which is always good. Uh, the keyboard feels great. I use it to log in, obviously, and stuff like that. And it feels like all the other uh, Huawei laptops that I've used, which is really just the MateBook X and the MateBook X Pro. Um, kind of shallow, but not too shallow, which is fine. And the... Um, it's not a full 1.5 millimeters, which is considered standard. Although these days, I don't, you know, it's it's not as common to have 1.5 millimeters. These these more shallow keyboards are becoming more and more common. Um, it's not as shallow as say a MacBook Pro. Uh, it's more it's just more comfortable than that. And I find that these are becoming more and more uh, comfortable to type on as they become more and more common. And the thing about that is, for me, they have to be common because I use so many laptops. For you, if you're like a normal person, which is not me, and you only carry around one laptop at a time, you're going to get used to this really quick, and you're going to be fine. <laughs> you know, I've said that about various laptops, like the uh, the Dell XPS 15 2-in-1, which has a really shallow keyboard, and they use magnets for the keys. And the thing is, I, I would get used to that thing, and I would use it for a while, and it would feel great. Then I'd go and use my desktop, which has a normal keyboard, and then I'd go back to it, and I'd have to get used to it all over again. Most people won't have that problem, right? So you can see the keyboard. It, it is pretty shallow, and that's, you know, should be fine. Uh, the trackpad and the screen we can take a look at the has fairly narrow bezels on the side. A little room up top for a webcam. 
decent sized chin. The the size of the chin, you know, people often bash PC OEMs for having larger bottom bezels and they say, oh, they just want room for the logo. That's not quite the case. The reason that you have a larger chin is because the display is a little higher up. You don't you don't want to have it too low because you don't want to have to be looking so far down on it. So it's meant to prop up the display a little bit in most cases. Some companies might just want to put a logo there. But yeah, that's about it for now. Um, you know, silver Huawei logo, aluminum design. It's pretty sexy and it's pretty thin and light. The thing about this is it is an Ultrabook. It It's a really nice PC. And again, I'm going to call it that price point, $629. You can pick one up at Walmart right now. And it's probably the best laptop that Walmart sells. I mean, you if you look around at Walmart, you see a lot of two $300 11-inch what would have been called Ultrabooks a few years ago. So this is pretty cool. I like it. I actually like it a lot. And um, I can see myself carrying this thing around. It also, it does have touch, which is pretty cool um, because that's something that like, with something at this price point, you kind of expect sacrifices to be made somewhere. So, so you look around and maybe they, they cut out, they cut out touch, they cut out, you know, proper audio. And they, why we didn't do that, it has a lovely display, 1080p, um, although, you know, obviously 1440p is better, but you know, you can't have everything. And I wouldn't even consider that a sacrifice. They did cut out the fingerprint reader, uh, but... I don't really see any other sacrifices here, which is really cool. So, I mean, even the original MateBook X did not have touch. So, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I enjoy Huawei's products, not just their PCs. I think their phones are fantastic. And you can use the phone together with with this PC. You can get your text and everything. Uh, Microsoft has something called your phone coming, if you're not familiar with it. So, um, this is where you get your drivers and everything. My services. But yeah, you can you can use your your Huawei phone with this, and you can send text messages. Thing about your phone is that it works well with Android phones, though you can only send and receive texts. Uh, you could view the most, the most recent twenty five pictures in your photo gallery. That's about it. Uh, screen mirroring is coming, but ultimately, it's really just not as good as as you know the ones that OEMs are providing, like Huawei, Dell, HP, and um. So that might be something you want to try out because Huawei does make fantastic phones as well. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'll have a review in a few weeks and um, we're going to check this thing out. I'm Richard Neowin. Have a great night.